Hello and welcome. Now, this screen that you're looking at, do not be afraid. Just kidding. I'm messing with you guys. Um, yeah. So this is my cell phone actually running through the Samsung Dex. And then this is my capture card, the Avier, Avier Media Capture Card. Um, so as you can see here, this is my Xbox um, Series X. And right now you see that... Um, Got a lot of games that needs updating. Jeez. Oh, jeez. Okay, we'll do that later. Um, so this is going to be an infomercial. Well, not really an infomercial, but showing you guys how easy it is for you to preload any game, even if you haven't downloaded it at all. And you can do this on your Xbox One, your Series X. I've done a video like that before, but I wanted to do one for the Series X, of course. So... You can download either of these apps. You can download the Xbox app or the Xbox beta app, which they both work the same. And they both give you access to your Xbox as well. You can actually connect your Xbox straight through the app and play your games. But let me warn you, there's going to be some lags there. All right. So this is everything. Friends list. Good stuff. All your games. Jump back in. I actually finished this game. Hold on, let me see, because I'm actually, I finished this one right here, Deliver Us to the Moon, and then I started to play Hellblade a little bit, but I've been playing Outriders like crazy. But anyway, we're getting off track. So the first thing you need to do when you launch the app, you just go to search. And then as you can see here in my library, there is no Resident Evil Village. So we're going to preload that. Yeah, I have a lot of games. I'm a hoarder more more than a gamer I, I suppose don't judge so as you can see here we don't have resident evil village preloaded so now all you're gonna do is come to the app and then just type it in resident and then it'll start to come up see so we want resident evil village Oh, it's not here. Okay, so there it is. And you see my console right there. So just gonna click it, or you can tap on it on your phone. And then there's going to be this button right here that says download. Let me see if I can make this small. Okay, there it, there it is. So you see there's a button right there that says download to console, which you click. And then since my Series X is in my bedroom, which I put bedroom, Select it and install to console. And then as you can see here, look at that. That's fucking fast, man. As soon as I clicked it, as soon as I clicked download to console, look at that. This baby is already going. It already been added right here. It's what? But sometimes it's not actually the full file. Like they'll give you a portion of the file. But once the full file has been pushed for the game to be preloaded, you can be able to download, um, you can start downloading the game. <clears throat> That's why it says here ready to play, but it's not ready yet because the game hasn't um, released. And also they haven't released a preload version of the game, but you can still preload a little bit of the file. Like, let's see here. Let's go to details. Manage games. As you can see here, all we downloaded is about 272 on the expansion card. So we can go back to the store. And then I can try to download another one. Let's go right here, games. Coming soon. Coming soon. And then I can either click on the hood, which is lame. Nobody want to play the hood. Let's try Mass Effect. So let me go ahead and try Mass Effect, the legendary edition. Mass Effect. So there it is. So let me go ahead and make this window small for you guys so you guys can see it, my search bar. So click right here. 
and then the download shall appear. There it is. And then just hit download to console, bedroom, install to console, and then it will start installing immediately. Now, as you can see, I don't have enough storage and it will let me know that and it's giving me an option to remove a game. So I'm going to remove that Battlefield 1 and it's still not enough space so we're going to remove Star Wars Battlefront. Oh geez, how many games does it want me to remove? That should have been enough. Oh geez, it's a huge game. Okay, we'll remove 2K20 because we're not playing that anymore. <coughs> really? How many games did that just remove? How, how big is this game? Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. So, yeah, I'm pretty much just removing every single game in my category. Really? Okay, whatever. Let's see for the purpose of this demo, for this instructions, we removed a lot of unwanted games. All right, so here it is. Now let's go to my games and it should start downloading. Let's see, download to console, install, Really? It wants me to remove more games. This is insane. How big is this game? How big is this game? <sighs> Let me see. I can manage my, um, like all my games right here also remotely on my, on my PC or your cell phone if you like. But anyway. I guess that's just a tutorial. You can download pretty much any game, even if you don't own it. That's why it's kind of sad that PlayStation doesn't have something similar for the um, for their game that's coming up, the Returnal, that you can't even preload it, which sucks. You have to actually just, either you have to preload the game or buy it in general. When you buy it, then you can preload once it's available. So Returnal is about 56 gigabyte. Um, so you can't preload any of that unless you decide to purchase the game. But Microsoft, you can preload any game that you want as long as it's available. Even if they haven't let you start preloading the games yet, you can download a small portion of the files. And then once it's available, you can, you know, download the rest of the file. Anyway, that's it. That's the video. Um, I was trying to download Mass Effect, but that file is just too big for my hard drive here. And for some reason, I can't put it on my external drive. I don't know why. So... <clears throat> Let me see. Hold on. Let me see if I can just manage my storage, manage console and games. All the games here should be, let me see if I can move this to the external drive. Nope. I have to do that on the console. But the positive side is we have the console right here. So we can actually make those changes right here on the fly, which I like. Let's go to storage devices. I have 50, like as you can see, I have a shit ton of storage right here. That's where I store majority of my games. Only the ones that are, oh, that's why that piece of shit game. We're going to move that one to the external drive. Move. <clears throat> because Call of Duty sucks, man. It eats up so much of your stupid... You guys see that, right? It was like... It was 200, 480 gigs or something insane like that. Ugh. Let me see my storage. How much do I have now? I still have the same amount. So let me move some more games out of that SSD. We're going to move... You know what? We're just going to delete this. We're going to delete FIFA 21. Hold on. So here we go. So I popped up another game. I'm going to do Hood, Outlaws, and Legends. Like All you have to do is just type out the whole name. And then once you're there, just hit download to console, install. I shouldn't have any problem because I uninstalled the 
bunch of games. And then it should show up on here on my main console. Uh, manage games, see all games. And then as soon as that's done, I guess, let me see Q. So we're going to go ahead and as you can see there, it's available. So we're going to download now. Now, who knows if, see, they haven't really pushed the whole files yet to the to Xbox server. So that's why it's not showing the full game. But once the full game is available, it will start pushing out the whole, you know, the whole shebang, as you would say, before the game actually comes out. So you can just have it available and play it right away. Anyway, this is the end of this lovely tutorial. We may have ran into a little bit of issues, but, you know, we're good. You can still do it. You can do it on your phone, download the app, download, preload, whatever games you intend on buying, and then it will be ready when the game actually comes out. So this is somewhat unbiased. If you enjoy this video, go ahead and like and subscribe. And if you're lurking, I appreciate you watching the videos. It helps me out. Thanks. Have a good one.